Okay guys, uh, where I'm at on my CNC all-in-one DC conversion is uh, I am on uh, limit switches, configuring limit switches. My limit switches are configured. I had to do a complete axis reversal on my X axis because it was running in reverse and I had to go in and into F2 motor and do a direction reversal which is put a Y on X and then I had to flip my limit switch uh, assignments from 1, 2, 1, 2 under limit and home switch columns to 2, 1, 2, 1 and then I had to go in on the all-in-one DC itself and I had to move the wires on uh, input 1 and input 2. I just had to flop them. Okay, it's what you have to do in my case to reverse the axis completely and so that the limit switches function properly. That is, if you end up on your X minus limit switch, the way you get off of it is you jog in the opposite direction or in the positive direction. The machine will let you jog off the limit switch and that's the way it works. If you do not do the axis reversal in the manner I just described, it will not work. You may have a stall error on the display. Um, so that's it's just the way you've got to do it. So anyway, so where we're at now is we're getting ready to switch from homing from jog to using the home switches. So uh, let's get on with that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my, my feed rate down to 10%. Okay, now we're going to change the home type. From the main screen, press F1 setup. F3 config, enter the password, then we go to F1 control, and machine home at power up is jog. Now, if you don't have limit switches, you'll leave it this way, and you'll, just hit, you'll manually move your machine to wherever you want to be, and then you hit Alt-S, and that sets your home position. I have switches, so I'm going to change this now from a jog to home switch. Now we're going to hit F10, save. And now it says to restart the machine, so I'm going to do a machine restart. So I'm going to shut down. I'm going to exit CNC 11. And I've got to shut down the control. I'm going to give it a few seconds and then I'm going to restart the control. Waiting for it to start the CNC software. I have mine set to start automatically. This is ping. This is the computer's network card and this is the all-in-one DC's network port. Okay. So here we are. The next step is home the machine. From the main menu, when the machine asks you to home, press start on the jog panel. Or Alt S, because I don't have a jog panel, to home the machine. The machine should move, move slowly toward each jog switch. So here we go. The Z axis is moving up right now and it's moving in the proper direction. It's, it's moving up, which is plus. I'm going to kind of cover my uh, e-stop switcher just in case. About a quarter inch away from uh, hitting the Z plus switch. Okay, it just hit the Z plus limit and it cleared. You can see it on display. Now my table is moving in the X minus direction. I'm going to kick up the feed rate just a little bit. I'll swing you down here so you can see what's going on. You can see that tripper is coming in towards the limit switch. Getting closer. Better move this. This is why it's so important to check your switches manually before doing this. So I'm about ready to dive on the e-stop if it doesn't work. OK, 
Okay. Send you back up here. You can see that uh, X minus limit switch was tripped. Now we're going that way in the negative direction. So now we're moving back. That's what you can't see so well because it's, it's back around here in the back. Let's put you up on the display so you can watch the display as it trips. Okay, machine home is set. The homing process on my machine worked. The limit switches are configured properly, so that's a great thing. All right, um, the next section is 6.7 tuning maximum feed rate. Um, before we get to that point, uh, we need to get the motors tuned. I'm going to get some assistance from Centroid support to tune my motors. We're going to attempt to do it remotely and we're going to try hard to uh, record the process so that you guys can see how um, the DC servo motors are tuned on this machine. We did use baseline settings that were provided in the manual um, so we can get things uh, moving, axis moving, and to get all as far as we've gotten so far with uh, setting the limit switches and getting you know any axes that needed to be reversed reversed properly so uh, next step is uh, tuning max speed rate and we'll do that after the motors are tuned all right thanks for hanging in there with me guys and uh, hope you guys are finding this useful talk to you soon